What's going on guys, should be here today. We're outside. I know I do in this kind of video, not in a usual setting. I would usually do it in my garage or in my room or something. So if the camera's a bit fuzzier or lower quality, maybe? I don't know the right term. This is why, because I would to do it outside because my uncle is staying here with my um, mom and dad. Mind you, uncle through marriage. So it's not like my dad or mom's brother, it's brother-in-law. But my uncle, regardless, um, he's staying here through Friday being, it's midnight now, so it's Wednesday. So he'll be staying today, tomorrow, and then I don't know if through Friday means he's leaving Friday or Saturday. I don't know. Um, but I wanted to make this video special. Shout out to Drake, Fireman Sam, uh, Sir Topham Hat, whatever. My good, good friend. Because I wanted to share with y'all what it's like to work at GameStop. And it's also his birthday present because he just turned 30. 30, bro. I'm 20 and I feel so old. It's crazy. Here in the next couple days, I'll be making a nostalgia video. Not for Jota Plays, but you'll see. Just a hint. But so working at GameStop, it's a lot. So it's, it's, how do I describe it? So it's, it is and it isn't what you would think. So yes, you will send, spend a lot of time there th thinking about games. Oh, it's the, yeah. Thinking about games, talking about games and all that. But you'll also spend a good amount of time selling them, selling consoles, accessories, t-shirts, knickknacks, toys, accessories, whatever. And it's really, really fun. I work as a part-time seasonal. I'm hoping that by the time I'm done with everything that they continue having me on. I, I hope so. I've really enjoyed it so we'll see but you know i just um when you when i do work there i work about six hours myself a shift sometimes longer sometimes shorter depends uh you go in there they teach you how to you know when i first went in there so i went through a career fair so i went in there interviewed with my current manager who's my manager now and talked for an hour he called me three, four days later, I was like, yeah, you got the job, just finished some paperwork online, and you'd be good. And I was like, all right, bet. You know, hang up the phone. And then did all that, came into the store, did my credentials, logging in, making myself an account, password, whatever. Did my own first kind of technical shift, then came in for a four-hour shift with just me and my manager uh, one night on a Friday, just no big deal. A week later was the... Um, a week later was our Black Friday, was Black Friday, and I did the Black Friday shit for six hours, sold a lot of stuff, did a lot of stuff. But you know, you meet your coworkers and you basically are forced, it's not forced, let me rephrase that. GameStop's not forcing you to get along with your coworkers, but it's kind of a, you just have to. At any job, you have to get along with your coworkers, at least to the point of, you know, working. You know, if you're on break and you're beefing or whatever, if you're out of the store and beefing, who cares? But not to say I have any issues with any of my coworkers, all my coworkers are, are great, you know, they're fine. Um, and you know we had i'll tell you a couple stories here so number one we had a family of like six or seven come in one point maybe five how many was it about six yeah about six five kids and a and a, and a person who i assumed was their mother or, or caretaker and they destroyed the whole ps4 section i was like oh <laughs> I mean, there were Switch games. There were DS games. This is the last time we went to GameStop and bought a DS game. A Wii U game was in there, too. And don't you ever... In the comments down below, if you have a Wii U, don't admit it. <laughs> nobody admits they have a Wii U. We all do, but nobody admits that we have it. I don't even actually have a Wii U. It was my brother's, and he took it with him wherever he is now. If he even still has it. If he does, I actually might cop that from him if he doesn't want it anymore. I'm not going to ask anytime soon, though. He just went through a pretty horrible tragedy so i'm not gonna like pull up and be like hey this is a really tough time but like no i'm not gonna do that like i have some humanity left in me <laughs> not much but it's there <laughs> and you know they came and destroyed the whole section bought a couple games i had to go in there and fix it all up and that was tough and we had one guy come in and buy an xbox and bring it back because the side was missing like what <laughs> We all were freaking out. We, I, my, the guy I was working with, who has like the key to the back, like he came out, goes, "What's going on?" I said, "The side's missing." He goes, "No, it's not." He opens the box. He goes, "Huh?" And so it is. 
<laughs> like, no, that's not what you say. You go fix that. What? 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 Oh, it was crazy. Uh, let's see. What else? Um, we had a crazy story about the one time that we had a woman come in and she was all kind of frantic trying to find games. She wanted to buy a Mario Kart Edition Switch and a Peach, like Princess Peach controller. And she did. And But we were trying to get her account, like her GameStop Pro account, but it's her like ex boyfriend ex-husband i don't remember it was just they had kids together and they're not together anymore they're ex let's just say it. they're ex's account and she was trying to buy the kids gifts or whatever through his stuff and eventually we got it but he was like i won't tell you my account stuff over the phone so he made us literally he called us to tell us i thought it was really annoying i'm like just tell her the code you whatever but you know uh are there any other good good stories i mean i've only worked a couple shifts so i'm trying to think are there any like really good stories you know Oh, sorry, my foot hurts. Um, you know, I don't think I think that's about it when it comes to funny stories. Oh my god, what is happening in there? <laughs> There's this lamp in my house that's having like electrical issues. So if like you look at the, like the outside window, it's like flashing. Like oh, it's crazy. But that's about it for stories. You know, it's just, I definitely recommend GameStop. It's not as bad. You can just sit there and talk games to your employee, talk esports. I'm in esports, so I get to do that stuff. And it's really fun. So this is for Drake. Happy birthday, Drake. Shout out to you, buddy. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good day, good night, and good. Bye. Oh, and obviously subscribe. I'm trying to reach 350 by like the Christmas. We're at 343. That's seven more. Come on, guys. <laughs> All right. Thank you. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day, good night, and good. Bye.